Hey friends, it's Curtis here. Welcome back. I just got home from visiting my fiance's family as well as her dog. So just a couple of days ago, my fiance's dog went to the hospital because one of her cousins, who was very, very young, accidentally fed her dog many, many grapes. And for those of you that don't know, grapes are super poisonous to dogs. And she probably ate seven to nine grapes, which is a ridiculous amount. And she had to go to the hospital. And right now she has this bandage on and she's taking medication, still a little fragile, but it was just so good to see that she's still alive, especially recently after the passing of our pet hamster. My fiance was super, super sad about it. She cried for a long time, even just like rewatching videos, she would start to tear up. And just thankfully, her pet dog, Leon, is okay. However, it was a good opportunity to see her family, her mom and her two sisters, who are still students. Her mom cooked us some really amazing dinner tonight. Uh, she knows that I love curry, so she cooked her own style of curry, which is like passed down through traditions. I've had all sorts of curries before, you, you name it, Malaysian curry, Chinese curry, Indian curry, Taiwanese curry, and all sorts of flavors as well. I even made curry ice cream. And this type of curry that I had today was new. So she added bitter gourd. My first thought was like, why? Bitter gourd is bitter. Like why ruin such a good curry? But to my surprise, it was amazing. Literally, the bitter gourd is just so soft and it just absorbs all the curry flavor and it's not bitter at all. She told me the secret to that dish was to fry it first. So I really, really loved it. And she also made this other dish that was a lotus wrapped dumpling. So imagine an open dumpling, kind of like a taco, but instead of flour on the outside, it's lotus. And she had steamed it to a point where the lotus is still a little bit crunchy, but soft at the same time. And then this lamb stew, basically her mom, who is soon to be my mom, is an amazing cook. And I'm so happy and grateful that she cooked for us, especially because right now my family is away and it's, it's tough. So I'm very grateful to be able to spend time with her family. And I'm grateful that her dog is alive as well, because I love her dog so cute. And the dog is family to me too. And it's just such a good reminder to cherish our loved ones, our family, because of the dog getting hospitalized and this trauma, this like really heartache, we really started to take notice of how important it was to spend more time together. Because right now, most of us are in Malaysia, we're on movement control order you should stay home except for emergencies or if whether you're grocery shopping just basically don't go out if you don't have to and for us it was kind of an emergency the dog was hospitalized so we had to check out our family member and with that we got to see her family and i was just telling my fiance you know this time that you have to spend together is really rare when I was growing up, I used to be able to spend so much time with my brother and with my mom. And now that I have grown up and I started traveling a lot, even before the pandemic, it was just so much harder to see them. And especially now with all the countries having their borders closed off, I can't even visit my family. They are currently in Taiwan and I don't have a Taiwanese citizenship, so I can't even visit Taiwan. And if I do, there's probably ways that I can try to visit my family. But if I were to leave Malaysia, then I would have to leave Jamie. So there's just no, not a wonderful choice. And so I do miss them. And I was just telling my fiance, Jamie, that the time that your sisters are in still in school is so precious because right now they are taking online classes because in the pandemic, they cannot go to their schools. And it's the perfect opportunity to see each other. We got to play games. We played Nintendo Switch, we played card games. And we got to just have so much fun. There was so much laughter, so much joking around, teasing. And that's 
really valuable because in the future when they start to have their own jobs when they start to have their own relationships their own family and move on it's going to be hard to set all their schedules together so with that i just wanted to remind you guys with our experience that yes this pandemic sucks it doesn't matter where in the world you are there are some pros to it there are, there are some bright sides to it that i hope i can shed some light on because everybody knows the negative right it's it's annoying it's restricting it's hurting our freedom it's hurting business hurting everything but i want to just shed some light on the good side of this so a lot of us right now because of the lockdown you may call it or movement control or whatever restrictions a lot of people are stuck at home. The pro side of that is you get to see your family a lot more because whereas you may have been at a job that required you to be outside and away from your family, now a lot of the meetings can be online, a lot of the classes can be online, a lot of the work can be done at home. So you get to see your mom, your dad, if they're around, your family a lot more. For me, my dad's not even around anymore in this I couldn't even visit him if I wanted to. So to have the opportunity to spend more time with family is just so amazing. And if you are lucky enough to be a student or have family members that are still students, really cherish that because when they do have their own jobs in the future, it is definitely much harder to see them. For example, my brother, he has his own family, his own business. It's much more difficult for me to see him. I had a phone call with him like yesterday and that was rare in itself because he's busy with his stuff and it's still good to be able to keep in touch, of course. But long gone are the days where we'd play video games until the middle of the night, until morning, and just strategize about how we would beat our opponents in new techniques and new methods and all we would care about is the games. Nothing else was important in life. There was no other priority. But now things are different, right? So I hope that you do cherish this time that you have. And for if any reason you're not with family, you're living on your own, cherish that as well. You can have some alone time where you can give yourself some more self-love. You can focus on some things to grow. You can pick up some new hobbies. You can try out things that maybe you didn't have the time to. And also you have the opportunity to try out things without being judged. Because let's say you're at home and you wanted to always try out some makeup. You can try it out. Maybe some weird new clothes style. You can try that if you want to draw, if you want to pick up an accent, pick up a language and just start speaking it. You have the best opportunity to do whatever it is that you want to do without being judged at all. And I find that amazing. So I am grateful as for this opportunity. Like I'm grateful for Leon, my fiance's dog, for the reminder. I'm, I mean, first of all, I'm so grateful that she's healthy, but I'm so grateful for the reminder to cherish all of these things. If in the next few days or couple of weeks, uh, Leon is stable, I would love to bring her over to our place and i will show her to you guys well uh hopefully oh, i am getting hot uh i i don't know why i'm wearing a long sleeve shirt uh it's quite hot in malaysia but i have the ac on uh with that i hope you guys are having an amazing day let me know how you've been what pros and cons do you see from this current situation in the world i mean Maybe just the pros, because the cons can probably go on forever. Let's share some more positivity. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like. If you're just checking in, drop a like. If you're saying like, uh, you agree or disagree or whatever, even drop a dislike. I would just like to know what you guys think. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Always so grateful for you guys dropping in. Love you all. Bye.